This is a video on how to make a squash book. So this is what a squash book is. It is kind of origami paper folding where you can open it up and it reveals what's on the inside, but when it's closed, you can only see two sides. So to make the squash book, you need three square pieces of paper. So here are my three square pieces of paper and we're gonna fold all three of them the exact same way. So let's start with one. Start with your first piece of paper and fold your square in half. So take it from one end, fold it in half to the other end, crease, crease, open it back up, turn it, fold it again. So you're folding it to make a plus sign in the middle. So open it up, and when you're done, you'll have a plus sign in the middle of your square. When you're done with this, this next part is very important. You need to turn your paper over so that it's sticking up off the table. It needs to be like this. So once you have it like this, you're going to press down in the center and we need to now fold it from the back corner to the front corner. So you've turned your paper over and now you're folding it from the back corner to the front corner. You only do this one time. So this is one time fold from corner to corner. Give it a crease, open it up and turn it over again. Turn it over, poke it in the middle so it now goes this way. See how it's going this way? And when you start to pick it up, it will naturally start to make that folded shape that we need. So I'm going to just push these two parts together. The two triangles I'm going to push together, and it's already going to start folding up on you like this. So when you push those two triangles together, just squash the rest of it like that. I'll show you on the next one. I'm going to move just a little bit faster on this one. You're going to take your paper, fold it in half this way. Open it up, turn it, fold it in half this way, crease, crease, open it up, turn it over, push down the center, and then go one corner to corner fold, not both corners, just one corner to corner fold, crease, crease, open it up, turn it over again, poke the middle, and then once it does that, you take your triangles here, push them together, and then squash the whole thing down. I'm going to do the third one very quickly, and then we will move on to how to glue this. So fold, turn, fold, open, flip, poke, corner to corner, crease, crease, open, turn over, poke, and then push your triangles together and squash the whole thing down. So that is how you make the first part where you have three of these. They're all three doing the same thing. So we're gonna open them up like this. Don't pull on them too much. We need to see what they're folded like. So I'm just gonna open them up a little bit more like this. And what we have to do is join them together where they can all open as one. So we have this one here and we have this one here. What we need to do to your center one is turn your center one backwards. So now we have two facing forward and one facing backwards. When you have the two facing forward and the one facing backwards, you can then kind of see how the squares go together. So it goes like this and the squares lock together here. And then it's going to go like this where the squares lock together here. So on your center one, the one that's facing you, you're going to put glue on the squares that have no fold in them. So I'm going to take my glue stick and I'm going to put glue on the squares with no fold. Squares with no fold at all. So that's these two. Squares with no fold. So since this one is pointed that way, that means this one needs to get glued on facing this way to me. So now I'm going to glue this square to this square. I need to push it down, so i got to flatten it a little bit. Push it down, and then I already glued that side, and I need to do that. So this part can be a little bit confusing for how to, how to glue them, but I can always help with that part. But you'll have to work with it a little bit to get it to fold back up the way it's supposed to. But it, remember, if you push your two triangle parts together, your whole thing's going to start to... Um, fold up. So I'm going to do this one and then I'll do this one 
And then I'm going to fold this one up by pushing my two triangle parts together and squash the whole thing down. So now I'm going to squash, 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 push down, push down. And now I have my squash book. You got to work with it a few times that first time to get it to squash back down. So there we go.